Greetings to all members of the Everything Calvillo website or Facebook group, whatever you want to call it. You know, I was uh, I was mowing the lawn today, and that's when the juices start flowing when I start thinking about things. And I, I, I couldn't. I don't know why, but I was thinking about how many times I had to, I have to answer typical questions about the Paris Chica family, about the Paris Chica name. And I thought to myself, you know, how can I go about explaining to people less? I mean, I don't mind doing it. In fact, I'm, I'm quite honored to be able to have this knowledge that people want and to be needed that way. But, um, yeah, I thought, you know, I think I'm going to send out uh, little, little nuggets, little video clips about our family history, our Paris Chica family history. And if you hook up to everything Paris Chica, then you are obviously a, a member. There's, what, 383 members right now. But you're either related or married into the family, whatever you have an interest. Um, I kind of wish there were more members, so get out there and, and point your relatives to this website. So I'm going to today start with the very first question that should be asked, and that is, who started it all? Who is the original Paris Chica on this continent from Spain? I know, oh, by the way, my name is Andy. I know most of you know me, but there's a lot of people here that uh, who are, we are distantly, <coughs> pardon me, we are distantly related, but we've never met. So uh, my name is Andy. Let me show you where I belong in the family tree. If uh, here is a part of my family tree, this is my father, Manuel Perez Chica. His father, my grandfather, Manuel Perez Chica. My great grandfather, Crescencio. My great great grandfather, Juan. My third great grandfather, Cayetano Perez Chica. And here is the guy that we're going to talk about Francisco Antonio Joseph Perez de la Chica. Yes, the original form was Perez de la Chica, and we'll talk about the history of that uh, last name or surname as well. So that's where I fit in. Hopefully, you all know how or where you fit in. If not, drop me a line, and maybe I, I have your uh, genealogy available. But um, so, Francisco, uh, I mentioned I'm going to start with him first because he is the He's the guy. He's the original one. And uh, let me stop again for a second to apologize. Uh, there are some of you out there who don't speak English. And my Spanish is horrible. So I'm not going to even attempt to try to do this in Spanish. Um, hopefully the translator will will translate it as best it can. But uh, you'll be able to get the gist of what I'm talking about. So uh, I am on the legacy uh, this is not a uh, something that's online that you can pick up. This is my personal genealogy. Um, um, what do you call this? This is my personal genealogy software. Thank you, Andy. And here he is, Francisco Antonio Joseph. I don't know how Joseph squeezed in there, Perez Chica. He was born in Malaga, Andalusia, Spain. This is kind of uh, shocking because everything that I've known up to finding his birthplace, his birth date, guided me towards a, a city called Hayen. And I've been to Hayen and it is amazing. And there are Paris Chicas there. Francisco, his family, for whatever reason, uh, relocated to Malaga. So I want to talk about his family here shortly. He married Maria Prisca. Ariano Castrejon. She was from Mexico City. She was not from Spain. In fact, she was previously married uh, before Francisco had uh, two children. Let me show you her family. My fourth great grandmother. She was married to, come on, here he is, Jose Maria Ames, Amescua, Amescua, I don't know. He's from Tonala. Jalisco, and uh, he died in 1782. So between him and uh, Maria Prisca, they had uh, Joseph, Maria, and Maria Amesqua. So my fourth great-grandfather had half-siblings. 
let me pop on over back to Francisco. You know, I'm going to save his kids for later. I'm going to save his kids on the next uh, installment. And you guys tell me if this is something that you'd be interested in seeing uh, on occasion, little nuggets like this about our genealogy. Uh, Francisco, born in Malaga at the church uh, the Parroquio de Senor, Senor Santiago in, in Malaga. <clears throat> Pardon me. So um, let me show you. This is the church that he was baptized in. This church is significant because it's also the church uh, where Pablo Picasso was also baptized. You all know Pablo, right? <laughs> Here is a, a current day uh, picture of the neighborhood or what the downtown Malaga looks like. It is a major port, has been for centuries. It still has the original bullring, which I'm sure is uh, at least a century or a couple centuries old. Most of them, most of the bullrings in Spain are that old and more. But I can't wait. I, I'd like to go to Spain again now to go to Malaga since I found uh, his birth location. All right. Oh, and by the way, uh, for those of you interested in this format if there's questions that you would like answered uh drop me a line you can drop me a message through uh the group everything Paris chica um and um uh, if it's information that i am familiar with or i know of i'll go ahead and post the video okay francisco he is uh quite the guy he was born in 1754 and around 1780-ish, he came over to um, New Spain. It wasn't Mexico yet. And his occupation was that of a muleteer. So he was a mule train driver. And I, I want to say he was uh, quite important. And back in those days, the mule train drivers were very valuable. It was a very valuable occupation because... There were, there were no semi-trucks to carry the loads up and down like we have these days. There were no roads. They, they were there were mule train drivers. So this is what he did. Um, early on, he was uh, considered a Don. They addressed him as Don Francisco, as well as his wife. Um, and, and he went to all the silver towns. All of his children were born nearby silver towns, even before they got to... Calvillo. Now, you all know Calvillo as being the hub of the Paris Chica name. Um, that's for the last 200 years. Francisco, I doubt, I don't think he spent a whole lot of time there. Mari, his wife, Maria Prisca, uh, once her first grandchild was born, she was there and she never left. So at some point, she, she says, that's it, I'm done traveling. So it, can you imagine... Uh, she had eight children. I mean, she didn't. She had the two children from the previous marriage, and she. I'm sure she didn't abandon them. They they stayed on with the family, um, and she had with Francisco six children. So yeah, wow. Can you imagine? Each drive that Francisco made, the contract usually usually lasted for a year and a half. So at some point. When she says enough is enough, she didn't see her husband for that that much time. But yeah, so I don't know. This is where I'm going to end the video. This I'm just kind of spewing stuff as it comes to mind. Uh, the next video, I think I'll be more focused. And I will attend to any of the, the questions that you may have. All right. So I hope everybody's doing well. And um, I'm thinking I might just start up a new youtube page so if you want to go back if i have several of these you want to go back and revisit or uh, send to people that you you know or related to you can feel free to do that um, but you'll know where to get them they'll always be attached to this uh, group everything Perez Chica. all right so uh, i'll talk to you guys uh, next time who knows when but hopefully soon ciao